theme throughout both today's first and second readings, and indeed the gospel itself, a theme of inclusiveness that is welcome good news to reconciling in Christ's congregations like beautiful Savior. Notice, for example, the use of the word all in both the first reading and the second reading, and the non-Jewish woman in the gospel who is willing to settle for crumbs. A reading from Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, maintain justice and do what is right. For soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord, and to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God who gathers the outcasts of Israel, I will gather others to them besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. But Paul, St. Paul, well then, what about the Jews? A reading from Romans. Paul writes, I ask then, uh, has God rejected his people? By no means. I myself am an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, a member of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not rejected his people, whom he foreknew. For the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. Just as you were once disobedient to God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now been disobedient in order that by the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God has imprisoned all in disobedience so that he may be merciful to all. The word of the Lord. but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind, and if one blind, blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain this parable to us. Then he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart. And this is what defiles. For out of the heart come evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, 
but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David! My daughter is tormented by a demon! But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
psalmist says then, Baby, come here. And she takes him in her arms and takes him on her lap and says, Yes, David, I am over you. And that's how God is to us, too. And God is always ready to say, Yes, I love you. I love you and 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 you, no matter what we do. So when we feel bad and we mess up, remember that God loves you anyway. You can never, ever do anything that will make God stop loving you. Just like your mom and dad love you and will always forgive you. Okay? Do you have David Goes to School? That one's yeah. Okay. Those are fun books. So enjoy it. Remember, God loves you always, no matter what.